Hey there guys, as many of you recall, I originally on this channel had a 1980 replay going with the uh, Cleveland Browns, um, and uh, that's kind of the whole reason why I set up the channel in the first place actually was a uh, home for me to uh, try this replay out and sort of see what I could figure out. Um, and uh, as you may recall, I ended that replay early, and I ended it um, because of a very specific problem. The problem I ran into was that uh, Action PC Football's uh, fatigue system created all sorts of issues for the replay. Basically, the Browns ended up not being able to use uh, their uh, star receivers and their normal starters for most of the game, which uh, led us to overuse a lot of the uh, receivers that didn't really get that much playing time in real life and led to all sorts of strange issues. I was talking with my dad the other day about this, and he suggested that perhaps there was a problem with action PC football and the number of plays run in prior seasons. And so I thought I would go ahead and take a look at that and uh, let you know uh, sort of what I found here. Uh, so we're going to go straight on over here to um, our uh, screen view. You can see the beautiful action PC football. But before we look into this, we're going to take a look and see what happened in real life. This is the 1980 Cleveland Browns um, from uh, Pro Football Reference. As you can see here, in 16 games played, the uh, Browns had 1,013 plays. Now, plays here are not fully plays, right? we got to define this. Plays are defined as pass attempts plus rush attempts plus time sack. That's what's going on. So we're not looking at punts. We're not looking at field goals. We're not looking at anything like that. We're looking at all other offensive plays, right? So that's what we're looking at when we're looking at this uh, season and at this project. Now, when we take a look here at uh, the number of plays per game the Browns had in real life, it was a little bit over 63. So we'll keep that in mind, 63 per game. We'll go over here and we'll go at the uh, report and look at uh, team statistics for the Cleveland Browns. You can see here we had, what, in 10 games, 300 pa rushing attempts, 361 passing attempts, and 27 times sacked. Um, and uh, that adds up, if you're uh, keeping score, to 688 um, uh, total offensive plays or about 68.8 plays per game. And so I thought, hey, maybe something's going on here. Maybe there really is a problem with action PC football. Maybe there's something that we really should talk about and that we should uh, get deeper into. So um, I wanted to make sure, however, that what I was looking at was not a problem that was, um, you know, uh, not unique to this replay. I wanted to look at this and make sure that if there really was a problem that we were talking about, like a major problem with um, action PC football and not something that was maybe caused by a small sample size. So um, we'll uh, take a look at this as well. Uh, let me make sure that this gets on top. I'm having some problems here um, with uh, the uh, browser not being on top of the rest of the screen. There we go. Um, so when we look here again at Pro Football Reference, we can see the number of plays per team per game, and we can see an average of about 65 uh, plays per team per game. Now, we have a problem when we try to find that in action PC football, and the problem is pretty simple. You can't find it anywhere, right? So what we can do here is we can go over to reports, teams, team statistics, then we can go here, look at this custom team report, choose all teams, team stats, and then build report. But it won't tell us like what we're looking for, right? What we're looking for the number of those plays per team and, uh, you know, it's not even, not only is it not telling us that, it's um, uh, telling us the wrong thing. Here we click on build report and then it, at least in theory, will come up. For some reason it is uh, exiting out for me. So you can see it here for every team, right? You have um, net offense per play. You can get that information, but you have to kind of do the math by yourself to figure out the rushing attempts, passing attempts, and the sacks together. It's something that kind of would be nice to um, have done automatically so we wouldn't have to go do all of the math by ourselves. Um, I did, in the end, uh, sit down and uh, do all of the math for all of the teams um, in that league just to sort of see what was going on because I really wanted to know, like, is there a problem or not? If there's a problem, I want to make sure that, uh, you know, we figure out a way to fix it or that at least we report it so that it doesn't affect everybody. Um, and so what I did is I uh, came up with a, a very quick and dirty uh, uh, spreadsheet here to take a look at that. We'll, we'll take a look at this spreadsheet here uh, quickly. Um, in fact, we'll make it a little bit bigger. So here are the uh, numbers I ran beforehand. There's the Browns in real life and the Browns after 10 games of action PC. 
There's the NFL in real life with about 65 uh, yards per game. In fact, it's exactly 65.0, not yards, but uh, plays per game. And so I went through, this is the action PC total for every single team. I was surprised by some findings, like the Packers had almost 73 plays per game, whereas, uh, let's see if we can find the lowest here. You had maybe like Chicago with 60.4 plays per game or Kansas City with under 60 plays per game. Uh, It's going to be kind of hard to win if you're uh, not getting any plays in but the interesting thing is that the average was about 655 plays overall or 65.5 plays per game which is almost right on with the nfl average for that year now keep in mind that what we're looking at is not a complete replay i didn't sit down and do a full autoplay replay or anything like that i just wanted to see what was going on with uh, the partial replay that i abandoned um it's fascinating to me though because Action PC football's uh, number of plays per game, in other words, its sort of pace of play and pace of game, is spot on. I mean, that is not only exactly right, but that's the sort of thing that's like so right that I, I'm not certain that there are other football uh, engines and replay uh, games out there that can accomplish this and that can make that sort of thing happen. I think it was pretty impressive. I would be very interested to know if you've noticed anything like this with any other seasons, if there's um, any past season that you've played with in which you've noticed a problem or you've noticed something that uh, didn't quite work right. Um especially when it comes to that pace of play and the number of plays per game. Um, So anyway, my uh, faith in the game has been um, somewhat, uh, 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 I guess, uh, reconstructed. Um, I'm still looking, though, for the uh, right solution to the uh, fatigue problem, which is uh, one of the major problems, I think. I mean, you want to be able to play with the star players on your team, and you want uh, the game to help at least help you manage fatigue the right way. In other words, if somebody's getting tired because I'm overusing him, I need to see him tired and not have him then for the next game be so tired he can't play a single play. That's the sort of thing we were running into. As always, I'm open to any sort of suggestions or recommendations you may have. Um, let me know uh, what you think down below. And uh, there we have it. I'll talk with you again next week. Bye-bye.